Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So last night was Dora, Dora 2024, the Croatian national final whereby the winner will represent Croatia at Eurovision 2024. So I wasn't able to watch it. I gave in to sleep around 10, I think it was, I went to bed. Um, and so I didn't, or I hadn't had an opportunity to watch it, but obviously waking up this morning, making my coffee, opening up my phone, checking out Twitter, as I do each morning, just you know, as the time pass. Um, yeah, lots of people had a lot of opinions on Dora. <laughs> Not all of it was good. Um, I think the majority of the opinions I was reading was coming from evidently outside of Croatia. A lot of people feeling, you know, to what extent was Let Three. <laughs> I think the point is, is Let Three song good? Um, I've seen a snippet of that performance. I've seen a snippet of all the performances yesterday just because out of curiosity when I was reading the things on Twitter, um, I just wanted to objectively check to what extent that's true. So I have seen snippets of all of the 12 songs. Um, I'm very happy. Some of my favourites I can see are already through, like Ewan, um, Bingo. Um, but yes, I did see obviously a snippet of Let 3 and yeah. <laughs> Not going on. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of debate at the moment, what I could see from Twitter in regards to, you know, whether Let3 should win. Um, and if it wins, you know, will it do as good as last year? Um, the age old debate, which I've seen William from Wee Wee Blogs is now officially engaged with in Croatia. And that is why on earth was baby lasagna <laughs> a reserved choice based on watching some of the songs yesterday. Um, I still think that that is a fair argument to be had. And also, to what extent does Dora need a semi-final <laughs> or two semi-finals? So what? Like, quite a few songs went through, right? Eight songs went through. Um, and so only four songs didn't go through, I believe. So, yeah, I don't know whether that was necessary. But anyway, nonetheless, like I said, I'm quite happy. Um, I did see, um, yeah... Vinko, great, love Vinko. Yuen, Yuen, great, love Yuen. Um, and that Pavel song, that um, Scandinavian ABBA inspired song, the, from a snippet I watched, I was like, yeah, I, there was something about that song. I, I wasn't sure whether I did like it. I'm quite surprised Noel, Baby Baby didn't get through, but any, I, I, do you know what? I will leave that for later. I do need to check all those songs out in full. But the purpose of this video is to check out <laughs> Slimon's performance from yesterday. So that's the one key thing that I got from Twitter. That was the fact that everyone seemed to be spellbounded by this performance yesterday. And I haven't been able to fact check this, but I saw so many comments on Twitter. And also when I was checking out the results on Weebly Blogs, I was reading the comments on there. And it would suggest that there's enough out there to holistically say this is probably true. Whereby when the presenters at Dora said to the audience, who do you want to win? The audience said, Slimon. Um, which is probably a combination of two things, potentially either the disappointment in the audience in regards to what they were listening to and seeing to in regards to Dora, but potentially because Slimon's performance was so amazing. So if Twitter's anything to go by, Slimon's winning Eurovision 2024. So before I kind of get sucked into that world, which will happen today, no doubt, as a result of his performance last night. I wanted to check it out for myself. So let's check out his performance from last night. I will admit, and Georgie's a testament to this, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, our favourites, and I did say France, like I said, France is one of my top three. Um, but I haven't listened to it for a couple of weeks. It is just because I'm protecting that song from my ears, <laughs> because it came out so early and because instantaneously I liked it I listened to it a couple of times I was like you're gonna over listen to this song Shane whereby when it gets to May you're gonna be done with it and I don't necessarily want that to be my story with this song <laughs> so I have stopped listening to it so I haven't listened to this song for ages actually so I um, am equally looking forward to listening to it again so let's check out Slimon's performance in Dora last night One thing I was meaning to say, last time we did a Eurovision tea, well, I did a Eurovision tea, we were talking about this song because we just brought up the fact that why was it selected so early? And I said, oh, I read somewhere that it was selected early because they were going to push it at junior Eurovision, which never really happened. And then one or two, not me, 
were, were critical of the fact of releasing this so early, but Alan testified that this song, and this could only have been three or four weeks ago, this song is massive in France. Like he's saying like everywhere you go, this song is huge. So for that reason, I'm excited that fact that France is selecting a song that is internally commercially successful. So there must be quite a lot of hype and excitement in France and evidently leading off what this performance I'm assuming is going to be, that excitement will become both increased and more real. Yeah, I really, really like this song. But I think subscribers and followers of my channel will know why. I'm a melody guy. The melody on this song is amazing. And I like a prominent piano. I like drama. I like build. <laughs> I read somewhere that it's revamped, I think. I think someone said there's a revamp on it. I haven't listened to it for ages, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to decipher if there is. Unless he starts rapping. Oh, I love this song. I've got to stop listening to it though. I'm worried that I'm just going to give in to my, my deal and my plan and just listen to it now. Probably it's about time now I can listen to it. That's mental. So his vocal is in excess of a, a meter away from that microphone. The power of his vocal is insane. So that's the difference then, is it? I've, I think I've heard some subtle differences in the production. just a, such an unbelievably great song and obviously France can massively be comforted by the fact that they are sending this song with an amazing live vocalist but also someone that can deliver a performance i.e. perform that song with that drama <sighs> it is a strong song and I think like obviously over the last couple of weeks because more and more songs have been selected I've been watching like particularly on Twitter and things like that, like people ranking their songs and this song just keeps on going down. And I'm like, I don't understand why. Like as soon as I heard this song, I was like, this is going to be such a good, like I already know it's going to probably be in my personal top five by the end of this. And like, I just kind of assumed that the kind of hype and excitement of this song would continue through the season. But I think probably because it got selected so early, people were kind of sleeping on it a little bit. I don't know, but I just, yeah, yeah. What we had, nine, is it 19 songs? I'm really not keeping track. And like, yeah, this is in my top three. This is still in my top three easily. And that performance just, yeah, gives me some encouragement that maybe my personal taste might actually align with the results, which it never does. Like, obviously, my tastes are quite bespoke. I always kind of assume if I like a song, doesn't mean it's going to do well. Um, I just think this is a beautiful song. And I'm so excited in regards to seeing how this does. Because, yeah, like I said, it might be quite nice because I am going to Malmo to cheer on one of my favourites, knowing that people around me aren't judging me. <laughs> They're like, yeah, it's a good song. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, like, yeah, if I was French, I would be very excited. Right, so those are my thoughts. Um, I need to go to work. And then when I get back to work today, I will check out some of the songs from semi-final one last night just to see full performances and to see whether some of the assessments that I read on Twitter are accurate in regards to what they experienced last night watching Dora. But yeah, if you are still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do click the notification button so you're informed if you want to post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.